Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's more Volvo today because everything is out of order and because I'm doing something every day and then putting it up virtually every day, I'm just giving you stuff as it happens really. As you'll see at the beginning of the next Rover V8 video, which is going to come out after this one, um, I've overnighted from Japan, well from the Japan of the West Midlands or Birmingham as it's more commonly known, a couple of bits so I can carry on with that Rover build. It's two tiny, tiny bits that cost about two pounds each, but because they go on before everything else, it's all kind of up in the air. And I thought it did just strike me as I was walking out from the garage a minute ago, do I know where the bell housing to engine bolts are? Because they're not in the engine and they're not in the gearbox. So yeah, we'll find out that particular piece of information during the next video, which has literally just occurred to me. But I have been buying bits for this car because until the change of rules about the extra six months for MOTs, this car was due an MOT in about a week. So I had been purchasing, oh, T-shelf use, two more bushes to go on this side because when I did the drop link bush on the driver's side, I didn't realize there were two bushes either side of one thing. So I only bought two instead of four, got two of them. I've also got, a seat belt because in my looking for things that are probably going to fail an MOT on, I noticed the seat belt was cracked, which is a really weird thing I've never really seen before. So for 15 quid off eBay, I thought I'd do that before, you know, I die in a crash. Let's do that one first. It's easy and it's sunny. Take a look at this. I have never seen a seat belt fail that way before. I don't even know how it would crack there because that's not under load. When it's under load, it's pulling away from it. So who knows, but anyway, maybe it's when you push it into the clasp because you push down on that bit and maybe it shears off that way. I don't know, anyway, I've got a new one. Now, as insane and paranoid as this sounds, but we do live in crazy times, this is a bottle of Diamond Bright Antibacterial Interior Cleaner, which kills viruses and bacteria. And there's a lot of those going around at the moment. And so before I install this seatbelt, I'm gonna wipe it down, which I've never done with an eBay purchase before, but we do live in strange times. So yeah, let's make it nice and safe. This safety belt. Oh. This is very much a repeat of what I did the other day when I was taking the passenger seat out to um, take the carpet out and deal with the water ingress. By the way, the water ingress does seem to have gone away completely since I gave it that massive clean. It's been raining horribly the last few days on and off. We had that snowy hail stuff. We've had thunderstorms, we've had all sorts. And this car has stayed bone dry. Even the boot is more or less dried out apart from a few drips when I opened the lid. So that's a major, major win there. I'm going to take this B-post trim off and just unbolt the three bolts to change this. Now, well, now I know that the interior is dry, I could, in theory, put all of this um, interior carpet trim stuff back in, but I'm not going to because I'm going to do that headlining very soon and that's going to be extraordinarily messy. So I'm going to leave as much trim out until I'm ready to do that as I possibly can. Big on to. Okay, right, how does this work? And we've got this all 16 millimeter bolts. I see what's gonna happen. This will, little tag on the end will slide through that hole so you don't have to slide it through sideways on the B-post trim, which I think actually might be cracked rather than uh, an intentional break. There we go. That's through the B-post trim, nice and easy. That's very furry and gross down there. Now just access the bottom bolt, which is underneath the inertia rail belt. So, ouch. A half extender would do the trick there. And we'll be done. Out. Now I'm going to hoover that because that's disgusting down there. The clumps of dog hair in this car are insane and revolting. Yuck, be glad this is all gone. That is significantly more pleasant to work in now. <laughs> right, so first we replace the inertia reel bit. Right, now we'll try and feed this bit through here. Ah, okay. And that as well. Yep, jobs are good. And this bit clips into... Oh, okay, that doesn't clip into there. That's kind of a rubbery thing. Oh, I see, yeah, that kind of goes in there. 
a little tongue goes in this little rubber wallet and they both sit through there. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well they should fit through there but they're kind of tight. Sitting through there is tight. Thank you uh, Ryan George. into there. I did just double check this and the big washer goes down on the side of the seat and the small washer goes up here on the B post. And last of all this third bolt here. Seat bolt changing is easy. And the broken trim is yet another thing to my list of bits to go and buy when I go and visit the breakers yard. That list is getting quite long now. And just to check this locks and retracts just fine so I will put this back on here. Try and feed it as it should be into the channels of the rubber. There, job done. Now I need to wipe all of it down. Oh, let's try and jack the car up without smacking the mini too badly to loosen the wheel off and already I'm scratching up my nice new silver paint. Luckily it'll be behind the hubcap. Right, so that is now on a big jack and a big axle stand so I think we can safely take the wheel off. Now I don't know why I didn't change this one instead of the driver's side one because this is far worse than the one I did change but this is an MOT fail waiting to happen so that's one bolt and I can, or two bolts in fact, I can get this thing sorted. So this big old bolt on top is an 18 millimeter, but while well, we're looking at how crusty they are, look how good these brakes look now that they've got the right pads and discs in there. That is very nice indeed. Oh man. The other one just came off no bother at all. Actually it's not that tight, it's gonna go ratchet. People often tell me in the comments that I'm abusing this ratchet, but I've had this thing over 20 years and it is fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not changing those bushes. This drop link is just bent in the middle. <laughs> so um, yes, what, what's happened here is that instead of the top nut undoing, I've just been winding the, <laughs> twisting it like, like taffy, like uh, some kind of, big fondant nougat thing so I'm going to be in the market for a new drop link. I don't think they're very expensive though. There's one vitally important task on this car which I can't believe I left it so long to get around to doing. Adding furious driving stickers to it of course. About there I reckon. Lovely, much better. One last thing of no consequence whatsoever. I do need to get a new lens for this door, um, so I've red warning light, but the bulb in there had gone and I've got a spare one, which is like a blue color, quite fancy. So I'll pop that in, oops, I'll pop that in there for now. Oh, that still doesn't work. That's annoying. Maybe it's not the bulb, maybe the door loom is broken. Maybe I've got two broken bulbs. Right, so this is turning into one of those days, you know what I mean, where nothing ever goes right. Okay, I've done the seat belt, that's good. I've broken my drop link, that's bad. Um, I've tipped the seat up so I can start having a look at how you take this apart and see if I can figure out why the heated seat doesn't work. And can I find my test meter anywhere? No, I cannot, which is annoying. And as this task is almost entirely testing electrical stuff, that's kind of where this task ends today. Hey, oh well. Do you know what? I might call it a day for this and go and have a cup of tea. And I'll join you again tomorrow when I'm doing stuff on the road for V8 again. How does that sound? <laughs> stay safe everyone, stay indoors, no one get ill, otherwise I'll lose my viewership and I don't want that at all. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye, stay safe. Mm -hmm.